In a previous video, we image traced a pattern using Illustrator, made edits in AutoCAD, then used it in Revit. In this one, neither CAD nor Illustrator is needed. We will use one free software to do the whole conversion. Before I start, I would like to thank Bgraphy for sponsoring this video. They have a web-based online service for 3D parametric modeling. You can create, modify, and nest node-based models using the editor. Your models then can be showcased and purchased by others in the marketplace. I will include their link in the description. Now, let's get back to our tutorial. The program we will use is Inkscape. Go to the website inkscape.org and go to the download section, current version. Now, I will download the Windows software. Installer in .exe. Open the file and run the installer. Now click Next, Agree, Next. Create a desktop icon. We will use that later. Next. And check these uh, lists. Now finish and go to Google, search for a CNC pattern. We can pick a challenging one, go to images, and we can pick one that has a watermark. Yes, this one doesn't really have a strong one, but it can be used. Now save it, go to the desktop, and pick the photo, put it into Inkscape, a small window will appear. Now keep everything as they are. You can keep the image rendering mode auto or smoothen it. Click OK. Now when you open, click on the image till you see arrows around it. Then you can pick a tracing method. I prefer brightness cutoff. Then apply from the right side. Now we can remove the background, click on it and delete or just keep it, it doesn't matter. From File, Save As, Save As Type, now we will pick Desktop Cutting Printer, the 14, the XFR14 and name the file CNC Pattern. Click Save and keep all of these as they are. Click OK. Now let's go to Revit. Create a new project. As usual, a metric architectural project. Create a new wall. And to see this wall's elevation, we will go to the north elevation. Click twice on the wall or click on Edit Profile. Go to Insert tab and import CAD. Now we have the option to import DXF files directly from files of type and we can select our file. Changing the units will affect how large the lines will come into your project. So I will pick decimeters and it will come off as proper or proportional. Now, I can select all these imported lines and move them, center them to my walls. Now I will drag them to the bottom of my wall just to rescale RE as a shortcut or use that icon you see on the screen and rescale these patterns. Type a number of a height you prefer and press enter. Now we have a, an inner profile. We will remove the boundary lines around these profiles because we want to have um, the profile cut from inside only. On the upper part, we will have CNC's full profile. Click finish and you can see it now. Go to the 3D view and 
then we can edit change the visual style to shaded and edit the family of the wall i will keep it at 79 millimeter inner wall and select that wall go to edit profile from structure edit now i will remove all layers keep only the structural layer change the material from the three dots under material and type wood select perch semi-gloss and use render appearance to see it in the uh, shaded visual style the thickness can be a number of your preference i will keep it at 30 millimeter then click ok click ok once more and we're finished i hope that was useful please don't forget to subscribe like the video and turn on the notification bell to receive all new tutorials thank you for watching